Okay, we are recording. Welcome back to another Practice With Me live raw practice session with Cody Noriega. Today, we are gonna work on Villalobos Etude number seven, classic. Um, I don't actually have the music for this piece. Um, I left it at home in the US, but what I do have is the manuscript online. So that's why the laptop is here. It's kind of a weird setup. I typically don't like to stare at a screen when I practice. I like to use physical paper. Old school, I know, but uh, it's this score right here, if you can see this. So this is what we're working with here. Um, and we're just going to get right into it. My hands are freezing cold. It's cold. I have not warmed up. So um, I think, I don't know, maybe we'll work on like 10 or 15 minutes of this. But thank you guys for your comments in the last video. I'm actually surprised how many people were like interested in me just practicing. I posted that video thinking it was not going to get much traction at all and it got like a decent amount and like a decent amount of you guys were like hey this is interesting get more nerdy go deeper so thank you guys for that um that's encouraging for me because i thought that video was like not going to be anything and uh if i'm being completely honest with you guys i recorded one other video of like a raw practice and i hated it and i didn't post it so i'm sorry um, it was like the, the day before my concert and I was like super nervous and I was like, hey, I'm gonna practice this piece and I was just, I don't know, I was just stressed and so I didn't post it, I'm sorry. I did one take and I like watched it back and I was like, this sucks. Anyways, I'm gonna post this one, I promise. Whatever happens is gonna happen. So, age of seven, let's jump into it. Let's actually tune our guitar first. So it starts off with the scale, right? Um, yeah, as you can tell, I'm not warmed up. It wasn't that bad. What I want to work on with this opening scale, right? I mean, as soon as you hear this scale, <laughs> not to be judgy, but like as soon as you hear somebody play that opening scale, I feel like it just, it says a lot, right? It's like, okay, can they play scales well? Well, can they play scales fast? Can they play them clean? Are the scales powerful? You know, just in that first measure, right? It's like, you can tell so much by that, so that first scale has to be like on point um, for me it's not the speed that's the problem for me I want to try to work on the clarity and the evenness in the sound I feel like sometimes I can play fast yeah but like sometimes I feel like my scales maybe are a little bit more on the light they sound light and they're not as like punchy powerful and my the synchronization can always always be better right <laughs> I wasn't planning to play this piece and I, I had to play it for my teacher and I like didn't practice it at all. But one thing that he mentioned was that I should end the scale with P. I always end it with M. I, I used to play this piece a long time ago. I haven't played it in years. No, I played it. I played it last year for one master class, but that was it. Other than that, I haven't played it in concert or anything. So I need to end with P because it sets you up for this. Right? I'm, but I, I would always just finish the whole scale like this, um, but it makes sense, All right? So in with B. Okay, let's get a metronome out and let's just practice some dotted rhythms with the scale. This is gonna help me warm up and it's just a healthy way to practice. I don't always practice dotted rhythms, I'm just kind of recently kind of getting into it. I used to never really do that. I would practice staccato all the time. That's how I feel like I actually got fast at the scale was just practicing staccato, not dotted, but now I'm trying to practice more dotted rhythm. So let's go at one, one twelve. Hope that's not too loud. I'll put this here just to start. notes are dotted. And then we'll do dotted the other way. Maybe I should get a little 
faster. Let's go to 120. Something like that. Then another thing I like to do is play the scale and accent my eye finger because I think that's the one that's not as uh, loud. I think it's just I think it's just softer sometimes. So I might practice it like this, accenting eye. Yeah, that's weird. Almost, I missed one accent. Sometimes, no. I used to go like this, but the accent is on the, the C sharp, so it should be, and it's all slurred. There's a slur for all five of those notes. One, two, or four, I guess. One, two, three, four, not five. But I want it to sound not right, or whatever I just did. Even right, the ticket that I'm like, this is too fast. The ticket, the good. It's like when you get to your pinky and then you know it's just a pull off, right? It's hard to make that even. No, the ticket, the good, kind of. this scale and with P I always end with M so it's a little weird for me that felt weird so I would do the same thing with this too dotted with us for now just to get used to the thumb but essentially I would practice this the same way that I did the first phrase because it's essentially the same thing to the other other dotted rhythm three times. No, do I start with M or I? I can never remember. I think I start with M. Yeah. No. I always played this part wrong. I admit, I did this. I started this piece when I was like, gosh, probably like 18 or 17 or 18. And then I just played it like again and like realized that I was playing these rhythms wrong. It's this. It's da 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 da. I used to go like some weird. I don't even know. So the scale where there's the three parts. Um, let's get nerdy. I feel like I'm. I don't know. I'm being like. I'm trying to like be interesting and like do an overview, but at the same time, dive in at the same time. I just feel like it's gonna be boring. But um, if I really wanna get nerdy, I would honestly, I would play this scale like a thousand times. Um, doing dotted, or like, yeah, doing dotted rhythms and whatnot. So let's just do it. 
because if this is raw practice, I need to actually be practicing and not try to be like, I don't know. So, da 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 da, da. we're gonna go from here. Yeah. in the metronome a little bit. I could be more precise. It's really really tiring not gonna lie if you guys play this piece do you do you release the bar for the scale like this and then, like, right. I just leave the whole thing down for the whole thing I mean because like you can use that finger but also like my thumb is like dying um, holding it for that whole time okay let's let's keep going to the next section how are we doing on time oh my gosh it's already been 12 minutes and just on that that means when I practice this by myself and like I do this like over and over and over, I probably, gosh, I probably spent at least a half hour on this part. Um, so the last one is, gosh, play it right, Cody. to the really pretty section, the real pretty section right here. This is really where you gotta milk it. Rest stroke, of course, on the melody, right? Um, and in this um, music, all those notes are accented. I can't remember in my old score if, if those are accented or not, but here that it's written in with an accent. save that section for another time let me just do that first beginning section like once all the way through um, and see what happens my hands are so cold though let me tell you. all right one more time and then we'll call it so I'll try not to go too fast that's my problem I always play too fast and you get yourself in trouble playing fast I mean like if you can play flat fast it's like I feel like it's a blessing and a curse because like I just get myself into trouble I always play too fast and then it's like it's hard to control. Anyways, maybe I'll try to go like a medium speed. Something like that. Yuck. too fast. You see the problem? Oh my gosh. I don't like that. It just feels weird to me. Like I want to finish the whole scale like this, but instead I'm, you know what I mean? 
It's like you have to make this opposite motion versus just like finishing like this. But it sets up your left hand or your right hand. What the heck? freezing let's try that one more time control yourself Cody control yourself okay I'm just gonna play it try uh, try to play it slow slow and controlled <laughs> I feel like you're watching me. Uh, okay, again. So, notes. This needs to be better. Da -da 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 -da. That needs to be more even. The end of the scales, I feel like, is where I lose a bit of control. Okay, we're back. Sorry, my battery just completely died, so I just changed the battery. Anyways, I think I'm going to end the video there. Um, I'm going to practice that section, and maybe I'll make another video on the same piece next week, and we'll do the next section, and then maybe you can hear if I've practiced that enough, uh, maybe that it's improved. So. Thank you guys again for watching. Thank you so much for your interest because it's uh, it's much appreciated. I just didn't think there were that many people that were would be interested in this, and you guys are. So thank you for watching. Leave some more comments if you want. Maybe, I don't know, a different piece that I play, um, and you want me to do a practice with me on that, we can totally do that. So thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.